what is going on guys in today's video i am kind of saying goodbye to fifa 17 by kind of showing you my favorite players from this year on fifa this year's fifa has been honestly incredible for me they have done so much right with this year with this year's edition and fifa 18 earlier looks like it's gonna get better i've played a ridiculous amount of games um and yeah so i'm just gonna kind of reflect upon this year's fifa and just go through my favorite players so how, how this is going to work, I've got my bench here, which is like honourable mentions for me. And then the starting lineup is going to be kind of like my favourite players in each position. So, starting off, we have Alphonse Ariola as my kind of honorary goalkeeper. Better than Butlin in my opinion. I can't believe that, that um, more people didn't use him because for me, he was always so good for me. And just, he's still on my team now. So, Ariola brilliant player what's this okay um next player we've got is wyland cyprian um his team this season is specifically but his regular card was also stupidly good um and you can just tell by the stats he is insane i've used him at center mid and i think he's got a very good record um just from center mid in division one and and pretty much for champs 30 game uh, 30 goals and 19 assists in 71 games is a pretty good return for me in my opinion um and this guy just one of the most overpowered players i've used on any fifa next we have squad builder challenge for nando torres this one has been nostalgia for me because i mean i just use him i've i've loved him ever since he played for liverpool it's been a long time and this card did not disappoint for what i expected it to be he's done a lot for me and in the same way he did a lot for Liverpool. Thank you, Fernando Torres. And the final player is going to be Danny Welbeck. Just one of the best players I think I might have ever used in a starter, in like a starter team. He was one of the first five players I bought in this FIFA. And he's going to stay all the way to the end. Because I could never get rid of this guy. He has just done so much for me. And he's I've I've used him in foot champions. I've used him in division one. This guy just never ever fails. And yeah, that is why he's in this team. In goal, I've gone with Timo Horn. Five stats above 80. I bought him for one. I bought him for a K. I've played so many games with him. And you know what? He. I don't have. I generally don't have a choice because he is, for me, not even in question, my, best, my favorite keeper this FIFA. So reliable. Just always, always uh, saves impossible shots. And he, I, I, I personally think he was better than Butler this year. So I'll go on to the right back, and it's going to be Nelson Semedo's second or first in form for Benfica. His dribbling is in complete light. It is at least 90 in game, uh, or at least that's what it felt like, because this guy is an absolute warrior for me. He was, anyway, until I told him, obviously, but yeah, definitely my favorite right back this year in FIFA. First centre back is going to be 84 rated John Brooks. I don't understand how this guy has not like got into more teams because he was so cheap and in my opinion the best Bundesliga centre back I've used. I've used Boa Tank, I've used team this season like Hummels and stuff like that in drafts. Nothing can match the reliability that this guy provided me uh, for me on FIFA. That is why he's in the team. Next player is going to be Jeff. It's not Jeff, is it? <laughs> Angelo Ogbonna. Um, his foot birthday card is essentially just, you, you could wish for nothing more in a sense back on FIFA. Perfect work rates. He's, he's big, he's really quick, and he's just superb at defending. And he played exactly like this card looks. He is literally that good. Next play we have is the left back of this team, Wendell. One of the only really cheap players on this game. 125 games, 900 coins. I had a pretty good Bundesliga team at one point. It cost about like 600k, right? I'm pretty sure it must be on my channel somewhere. This guy never left my team because he has always been so reliable for me. And he's just never, ever failed in game for me. And that is why he's in the team. Because genuinely, he is he, he is probably the best left back I've used on FIFA. Any FIFA this is because, I mean, he, he just does not disappoint ever. Next player is... Corentin Talisa. I bought him for 50k and it is probably one of the best investments I've made on, on FIFA. This guy, I've used him at CDM and he's just an absolute machine. He, he does not 
lose a 50 50 he is absolutely like he's an absolute monster in game he is a tank he is literally any word any word you can use to describe a strong player that is Salisso. he's just so well-rounded and honestly he is one of my favorite players i've used in any fifa if not probably the best center mid the other center mid is morgan sanson and i mean this guy's stats are ridiculous just look at them i mean there's not really much more you can say he played exactly if not better than what this card suggests he is pretty much perfect in every single area on the pitch he is able to be used anywhere and the only thing that i think makes him slightly worse than hula is the lack of four star skills but other than that he is without a doubt like one of the most ridiculous end mids i've used on the game only 100k i paid for this guy and just an incredible return he is he's had for me next play we have is marco fabian's team this season so ea with team of season they pretty much just said let's throw every idea we have about team this season out the window before they would only increase the player stats for like maybe four or five in relative in relativity to their next in form not with fabian no they pretty much increased his shooting and dribbling by about 10 or 12 each and it makes one of the most ridiculous dribblers on the game in my opinion he is five for seven combined with 90 dribbling and also a fairly high strength and that makes him probably my favorite player to dribble with on fifa i mean no one else provides the reliability that this guy has when he's got a ball at his feet he is without a doubt like one of the most technically gifted players i've ever used on fifa and other than that his his other stats are insane passing free kicks shooting i mean there is nothing more you could want with this guy like even his pace is even his pace is by far very much good enough and it's not even a factor given how good this guy is i'll go left wing next and it is going to be in form of federico bernadeschi this guy was never ever more than about 15k and there was no reason for me to ever buy someone else because he was a perfect winger for me he had ridiculous long shots he's very skillful and his dribbling is definitely better than 86 but other than that he has probably one of the most perfect crosses like kind of crossing ability i've ever felt with a player on fifa i don't know what the exact stat is but I've never felt more comfortable crossing the ball than with this guy. And he was the only reason I scored any headed goals on this FIFA. So that is why he's in the team. Right wing is a surprise one, but I did do a lot of hybriding. And that is how I've come up with Team of Season Jeremaine Lenz. For a Team of Season card this year, he doesn't look that overwhelming. But in game, he was honestly insane. He had, he had a ridiculous long shot i mean on the ball he was superb and genuinely i i definitely think a lot of people a lot more people should have used him because he was just that op he was incredible on the game and moving on to my last player who is also my favorite player on this fifa and pretty much any fifa ever is going to be team of the season anthony Modest. i've loved each of this guy's cards um coming up from his first in form and his team of the season has turned out to be the most fun I think I've ever used, ever had playing on FIFA with, with a single player. This guy is the perfect player, the most perfect player I think I've ever used on, 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 a, on a game. I mean, there is absolutely nothing I would change about this card because, like, to me, everything is 99, basically. He is an insane dribbler. He has got 99 strength already, so that can't really be improved. He, if, if there could be an 100 plus stat for shooting, then I think that would be fair to describe him because anywhere, any distance, any angle, his weak foot's are relevant because it's five star in game anyway, I'm pretty sure. Just he is, there is nothing more I could ask for any player, any striker on FIFA. And, you know, it actually saddened me when I heard he'd be, he'd be going to the Chinese League because I wouldn't get to use him next year on FIFA. But this guy, just an absolute legend for me. And... I think the stats reflect that 52 games 74 goals and 21 assists just the best player ever on fifa so that is those are my selections if you agree or disagree just drop it in the comments and i'll see you guys next week for fifa 18 gameplay